They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, sometimes you can. Never had anything against AR rifles like this one, but I frankly didn't think they had a place in the woods. But as I thought about it, I remembered that America's favorite deer rifle wasn't originally designed for sportsmen at all. What we think of today as a traditional sporting rifle is, in fact, a direct descendant of the World War I service rifle, the 1903 Springfield. The then new bolt action of the Springfield offered smooth and rapid cycling of the action and allowed the use of a more powerful cartridge, the 30-06, which also provided a big step forward in long-range accuracy. Decades later, a bolt action in 30-06 is still one of America's most popular big game rifles. Truth is, for well over a century, many of our most popular sporting rifles have evolved directly from a service rifle of a particular era. And for good reason. Service requirements in a rifle, such as accuracy, ruggedness, reliability, and fast follow-up shots, are features in a rifle equally sought by hunters and target shooters. The first semi-automatic U.S. service rifle, popularly known as the Garand, saw service initially in World War II. Not long afterward, a wide range of semi-auto, hunting rifles, and shotguns gained widespread popularity among both hunters and target shooters. Today, the AR-15 is the civilian rifle that looks like the M16 service rifle that first saw combat in Vietnam. Unlike the fully automatic military version, the AR-15 is a semi-automatic and fires only one shot with each pull of the trigger. Granted, it may not look like a traditional sporting rifle. I guess a bolt action didn't look that traditional at first either. What an AR does look like is a state-of-the-art rifle that employs advanced technology and ergonomic design. A modern sporting rifle, if you will. The result is a rifle that makes for an excellent choice for many types of hunting, from varmint to all kinds of big game. To start with, these rifles are lightweight yet well-balanced exceptionally quick pointing and easy to shoot. That's a real plus, especially when shooting offhand. Second, the design results in a handy and compact size rifle that's easy to maneuver in the woods, but gives nothing up in accuracy. AR rifles are now the choice of many competitive shooters at events such as Camp Perry, including the 600 yard competition. And the semi-automatic action significantly reduces felt recoil, making fast follow-up shots more accurate, and also making these rifles an excellent choice for recoil-sensitive hunters or shooters. AR rifles are field-tested tough and will easily withstand rugged hunting conditions and the harshest weather. To top it off, today's AR rifles come with many hunt-specific features and are chambered in many popular hunting calibers. All in all, a lot of new technology that results in a modern sporting rifle with distinct advantages, both in the field and at the range. Am I gonna trade in old Betsy for one of these? Maybe not, but there's a more important point to consider. Anti-gun folks insist on calling these rifles assault weapons. To label them as bad guns as opposed to more traditional looking good guns. Now I ask you, how can any rifle, any inanimate object, be inherently good or bad? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Truth is, it won't be that long till many hunters out there call one of these rifles Old Betsy. <laughs>